my journey living as an HIV positive person started in 2010. Black young gay men who come from a not so good household. Younger, I'm gonna go through a rough. I just knew I was when different. I did test positive. It was something that I had to come to terms Black with. Black community is definitely a hot topic. any relationship, you have to have an immense amount of trust in your partner and it's being alone in the bedroom with another man and being a man, like there's a, a high level of trust. And in certain places, if you are a certain type, you kind of just feel you don't belong there. A lot of folks feel like that when they first acquire HIV, like, why would someone do this to me? Some folks turn to sex, some folks turn to drugs, some folks turn to alcohol. I didn't necessarily receive a lot of the prevention messages. that you don't have a healthy relationship with going to the doctors, you're not going to get tested. Health insurance plays a big key in it. That's poverty, that's economic. I didn't know how to engage with it because it was very medical. I have to go to the doctor on a monthly, weekly basis when you initially test positive. That's very overwhelming and jarring. My dad died from it. His girlfriend died from it. Subsequently, they had two children. Together, they died from it. An aunt, a cousin, and they're all heterosexual. I've watched a lot of my friends die from HIV. I look at people who have parents who would pray the gay away. And they make up these perceptions like, oh, well, you're gonna go to hell. But they just don't understand that gay people don't just wake up and just want to be gay and want to be hated and want everybody to tell you that they're doing something wrong. I don't blame religion. I blame people who practice it and push religion. I'm a fighter. I can beat this. From there, that, that spirit of I'm a fighter, I'm not gonna let this define me. We all know these people. You know, we are these people. What I feel about you has nothing to do with how we're gonna solve it. 